Hello. Welcome to Today in History, an AI podcast. I'm Steven. And I'm Ruth. We're the artificial intelligence hosts of this show. Every day, we'll tell you about the most interesting, consequential and sometimes forgotten facts in history that happened on this date. Politics, economy, war, religion, culture. One topic every day. Plus something that you would have heard on the news back then on this date. Also, about a holiday somewhere in the world, someone who was born and someone who died. Hope you stay with us. Please enjoy a few minutes to maybe get a little smarter and appreciate the enormity of every single day. Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. The year is 1513. Our main topic, Spanish conquistador Juan Ponce de Leon sighted land in North America, naming the area La Florida. In 1513, Juan Ponce de Leon, a Spanish conquistador, led an expedition to North America, sponsored by King Ferdinand II of Aragon and Queen Joanna I of Castile. He sighted land on April 2, 1513, and named the area La Florida, believing it to be an island. This event marked the beginning of Spanish colonization in North America and the establishment of Spanish Florida. Context, during the 16th century, European powers such as Spain, Portugal, England, and France were engaged in a race to explore and colonize new lands across the Atlantic. The Spanish had already established colonies in the Caribbean, and now they turned their attention to North America. Juan Ponce de Leon, a seasoned explorer who had accompanied Christopher Columbus on his second voyage to the New World, was chosen to lead the expedition. Historical significance, the landing of Juan Ponce de Leon in La Florida marked a significant moment in American history. It was the first official European expedition to North America and paved the way for Spanish colonization of the region. The establishment of Spanish Florida also led to the eventual colonization of other parts of North America by European powers, shaping the modern-day landscape of the United States. Moreover, the expedition had a profound impact on the indigenous peoples of Florida, as it led to the destruction of their settlements, the introduction of European diseases, and the exploitation of their resources. It is essential to acknowledge the negative consequences that the colonization of the Americas had on the native populations and to recognize the historical injustices that they suffered. In conclusion, the landing of Juan Ponce de Leon in La Florida was a turning point in American history, marking the beginning of European colonization in North America. It is crucial to remember the impact that this event had on the indigenous peoples of Florida and to acknowledge the complex history of colonization in the Americas. The year is 2004. On the news, Islamist terrorists involved in the March 11, 2004 Madrid attacks attempt to bomb the Spanish high-speed train of near Madrid, the attack is thwarted. On March 11, 2004, a series of coordinated bombings shook the Spanish capital of Madrid, killing 193 people and injuring over 2,000. The attacks, carried out by Islamist terrorists, targeted the city's commuter train system, known as Circanias. Today, we've learned that the terrorists also attempted to bomb the Spanish high-speed train of near Madrid. Fortunately, their efforts were thwarted, preventing further loss of life and destruction. Context, the 2004 Madrid train bombings were a pivotal moment in Spanish history, occurring just three days before the country's general elections. The attacks were carried out by individuals who opposed Spanish involvement in the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq, and they had a profound impact on the nation's political landscape. The bombings led to a significant shift in the government's stance on terrorism and national security, as well as changes in public opinion regarding Spain's role in international affairs. Historical significance, today's revelation highlights the ongoing threat of terrorism and the need for vigilance in the face of such dangers. It also serves as a reminder of the devastating consequences of the Madrid train bombings and the importance of learning from the past to prevent similar tragedies in the future. As we continue to grapple with the complexities of terrorism and extremism, it's essential to remember the victims of these senseless acts and work towards a safer, more peaceful world for all. Our selected holiday for today, Christian Feast Day, Henry Budd, Anglican Church of Canada. The Christian feast day of Henry Budd is celebrated on the 22nd of November in the Anglican Church of Canada. 
This day commemorates the life and legacy of Henry Budd, the first Native American to be ordained as an Anglican priest. Budd spent his career ministering to First Nations people, working tirelessly to spread the message of God's love and to promote the well-being of indigenous communities. Cultural Significance The feast day of Henry Budd holds great cultural significance for several reasons. Firstly, it serves as a reminder of the important role that religion has played in the lives of indigenous peoples, particularly in Canada. For centuries, Christianity has been a source of comfort, strength, and inspiration for Native American communities, and Henry Budd's work is a testament to this fact. Secondly, the feast day of Henry Budd highlights the contributions made by indigenous peoples to the development of Christianity in Canada. Budd's ordination as a priest was a milestone moment in the history of the Anglican Church, and his work paved the way for future generations of Native American clergy. Lastly, the feast day of Henry Budd provides an opportunity for the Anglican Church of Canada to acknowledge and honor the rich cultural heritage of indigenous peoples. By celebrating Budd's life and legacy, the Church recognizes the valuable contributions that Native Americans have made to the spiritual fabric of Canada. In conclusion, the Christian Feast Day of Henry Budd is a celebration of faith, culture, and the tireless work of a man who dedicated his life to spreading the message of God's love among First Nations people. It serves as a reminder of the important role that religion has played in the lives of indigenous peoples, and it highlights the contributions made by Native Americans to the development of Christianity in Canada. On this day, in 1869, Huey Jennings, American baseball player and manager, D. 1928, was born. Huey Jennings was a legendary figure in the world of baseball, who left an indelible mark on the sport with his exceptional skills, leadership qualities, and dedication. Born in 1869, Jennings began his professional career in 1891 and quickly established himself as a force to be reckoned with on the field. As a shortstop and batter for the Baltimore Orioles, he played a pivotal role in the team's success, leading them to three National League championships in 1894, 1895, and 1896. Jennings' impressive statistics speak volumes about his talent. He had 355 runs batted in and hit .335, .386, and .401 during those three championship seasons, cementing his reputation as one of the greatest players of his time. His leadership qualities were equally remarkable, earning him the respect and admiration of his teammates and opponents alike. After retiring from playing, Jennings went on to become a successful coach and manager, sharing his knowledge and expertise with the next generation of baseball stars. He remained dedicated to the sport he loved, contributing to its growth and development in various capacities until his passing in 1928. Jennings' legacy extends beyond his impressive statistics and achievements on the field. He was known for his sportsmanship, his commitment to fair play, and his dedication to the game. He was a true ambassador for baseball, and his contributions to the sport have had a lasting impact on the game we know and love today. In conclusion, Huey Jennings was a remarkable individual who left an indelible mark on the world of baseball. His exceptional skills, leadership qualities, and dedication to the sport have made him a legend in his own right. His legacy continues to inspire and motivate baseball enthusiasts to this day, and his contributions to the game will never be forgotten. We remember the life of Almadelia Fuentes, Mexican actress, born 1937, who died on this date in 2017. Almadelia Fuentes was a talented Mexican actress who graced the screens of film, television, and theater for decades. Born in 1937, she began her acting career in the 1950s and quickly became a household name in Mexico. Her breakout role in the film Nosotros Los Pobres, 1958, catapulted her to stardom and earned her a nomination for Best Actress at the prestigious Ariel Awards. Throughout her career, Fuentes demonstrated her versatility as an actress, taking on a wide range of roles in various genres. She starred in dramas, comedies, and even musicals, showcasing her impressive singing and dancing skills. Her performances were always nuanced and captivating, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Fuentes' success extended beyond the big screen, as she also had a thriving career in television. She starred in several popular telenovelas, including La Constitución, 1970, and Los Ricos Tambien Lloran, 1979. Her talent and charm made her a beloved figure in Mexican entertainment, and she became a role model for young actresses aspiring to follow in her footsteps. In addition to her acting career, Fuentes was also a devoted wife and mother. 
She married her husband, actor Jorge Martinez de Hoyos, in 1959, and they had two children together. The couple's marriage was a long and happy one, enduring until Martinez de Hoyos' passing in 2011. Fuentes was known to be a devoted mother and grandmother, and her family was a source of great joy and inspiration for her throughout her life. Fuentes' impact on Mexican culture and entertainment cannot be overstated. She was a trailblazer for women in the industry, paving the way for future generations of actresses. Her legacy continues to be celebrated and admired, and her contributions to the world of entertainment will be remembered for years to come. Despite her untimely passing in 2019, Alma Delia Fuentes' spirit lives on through her body of work. Her films, television shows, and theater performances continue to entertain and inspire audiences, and her memory will always be cherished by those who knew and loved her. This was Today in History, an AI podcast. Brought to you by Decor Studios. All content was sourced from Wikipedia and processed with open source large language models. This podcast is released under Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 4.0 International License. Thank you so much for listening. Talk to you tomorrow.